Matthew Stuckey here, giving you another trait of psychopaths, and we're looking at now the facet B characteristics of factor two of the 20 uh, traits of psychopaths. We're looking at underneath the category of antisocial uh, characteristics. And when you hear about psychopaths, you'll often hear that they have antisocial personality disorder. Now, ASPD, antisocial personality disorder, kind of means something different in the field of psychology, psychology, psychiatry with psychopaths versus kind of its, its usage in, in modern day lingo. Oftentimes somebody might say, hey, I'm a bit antisocial. And what they mean is they're a little bit shy or introverted, but that's not actually what antisocial means. Being shy does not mean that you're a psychopath and it's not an indicator of you being a psychopath. What antisocial is, here's a definition from one of these websites. Contrary to the laws and customs of society, devoid of or antagonistic to sociable instincts or practices. So it's referring to people that are unwilling to follow rules and unwilling to adhere to anything that anybody says. Kind of an example of this is, uh, you know, of antisocial personality disorder. Let's say you're going to a doctor's office and you're in the waiting room and there's one chair and you're sitting in that chair and then a woman comes in that's eight and a half months pregnant and she's having trouble walking, she's holding her back, she's in a lot of pain. The natural reaction of, of anyone, unless they were not taught this, I mean, is just to stand up and, and let them sit in the seat and say, hey, you know, take my seat, right? Or if an old lady were to come in, you would offer your seat. It's just common courtesy. It's actually not what a psychopath would do though because of the fact they only care about themselves. The only reason that they would actually do that is if they saw a benefit in it. So oftentimes if they're in a group and people see them, they're the first ones to look courteous, but it's all an act because they're just kind of trained. Oh, well, I look good in front of other people. But otherwise, they're not gonna give up their seat because they only care about themselves. They don't care about anybody else. And so when it comes to this idea of uh, you know being antisocial, the first characteristic we have are poor behavioral controls. Poor behavioral controls. Here's what it says about poor behavioral controls. Psychopaths struggle to follow rules, laws, and policies much of the time. Even if they set out to follow the rules, they usually don't stick to them for long. So basically, psychopaths just cannot adhere to rules. It doesn't matter what the rule is, they just don't listen to them, they don't care about them. They, they claim they're gonna follow everything to a T, but then they'll just easily break it if they feel like breaking it, because they only care about themselves. The question is, does this fit with the Bible? And the answer to that is, yes, it does. Second Peter 2 verse 10, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. It says about psychopaths that they despise government. And a parallel verse, it says despise dominion. And when it says government, it doesn't necessarily mean your presidents and your political leaders and your city. Government is basically any authority. So if it's your boss at work, if it's your husband, you know, if you're married and you know your husband's the head of the home, obviously, or the father in a in a household, the kids, you know, looking to the father who is their government or authority in that situation. And what it says about psychopaths is they despise government. They hate authority. And they speak evil of these people that are in authority. They speak evil of dignities, it says there in 2 Peter 2.10 and in the parallel verse, Jude 1.8. And so they speak evil of dignities and are mad about any sort of authority. And you oftentimes see this in the world when you look at people that are kind of the uh, anarchists. The people that don't want to have any authority, don't want to have any rule whatsoever. Now that would truly be the worst form of government because we see that example in the last five chapters of Judges, chapter 17 through 21. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And right in the middle of those chapters, chapter 19, we have the most disturbing chapter in the entire Bible because people are doing things that they want to do because they don't get in trouble for it. And so, you know, honestly, even if you have a government that has a lot of rules you don't like, you know what, it's, it's probably a much better situation than having no government. Because in general, if you're trying to do right and you just have that on the inside of you that you know you should obey authority, generally the rules are gonna be helpful to you. Right? I mean, obviously, you know, a rule like speeding 200 miles per hour, you know, whether that should be a, a law or not, you know, people could have different opinions, but it protects you if you're just trying to uh, just go down the road at normal speed and be safe. You know, rules against drunken driving. Well, I don't drink and drive, so you know it protects me. Rules against murder, and you know what? 
Obviously, the best laws would be the ones straight from the Bible, but even man-made laws oftentimes can be very helpful for us and protect us from people that would do wrong and break those rules. And so I personally get a little bit scared or get a little bit worried about people, and I kind of put a red flag in my mind when I meet people that are just hardcore anti-government. Now, of course, the government doesn't always follow the things of the Bible, but the Bible does teach that we are put underneath authority and we are supposed to obey authority unless they're asking us to do wrong. And so, you know, when I see people that just their biggest thing they want is just take down the government and not listen to anything the government says and everything, I'm not saying that means they're a bad person, but I, I sometimes wonder in my mind because it sounds like they despise government, they despise authority, they despise, you know, those ruling over them. And of course, oftentimes, you know, our physical governments will make bad rules or a husband would make bad rules, you know, for his wife. A father might make bad rules for his family and wrong decisions, but it doesn't give you the right if you're underneath to despise that authority. That's actually something the Bible says that psychopaths do. They despise government, despise authority. Sometimes you'll see that in churches where somebody will, you know, criticize, you know, all these other pastors. They say, man, they are so controlling and they had all these rules and it's not fair and it's not fair. And what they're doing is speaking evil of dignities, speaking evil of those that are in authority. What's interesting is that those will be the same people that also criticize their new church leader once they end up having a problem and leaving because it's really just their own problem with struggling with authority and obeying authority. Now, once again, that doesn't mean somebody's necessarily a psychopath, but it could be an indication because that is one of the traits that's mentioned. You also see this with Nabal in the Bible. It says the man was churlish and evil in his doings and he was of the house of Caleb. And so he's just an evil man and churlish. And so basically he's just doing wrong and he doesn't care what's accepted or what's right. He's just going to do what he what he does, what he wants to do, because he doesn't care about anybody else. And so when we're talking about poor behavioral controls, we're talking about people that just are unwilling to follow rules. And so sometimes a psychopath might follow rules for a little bit, but when it no longer benefits them, they'll just kind of veer off in the direction they want and, of course, make an excuse for why they didn't follow it or whatever, but it's really kind of manifesting what they are on the inside. So one of these 20 traits are poor behavioral controls, people that are just unwilling to follow any rule whatsoever. Why? They despise authority. Anyways, thank you and God bless.